Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to upgrade the firmware in your Sony A7. This is the ILCE-7 camera, and, um, and I can't guarantee any compatibility between this video and any other camera. So the first thing we want to do is look up some instructions. Um, so let's look up the Sony A7 firmware upgrade in the Sony eSupport page. Um, and so I'm going to open that one up too. Okay, so here's the, uh, the Sony A7 eSupport page. And we, you want to click on drivers and software. And then you want to select your operating system. And if you're using the same operating system as me, that's OS 10.10.1 or Yosemite, you need to download this one, uh, the first one here, drivers. Okay, and it says, this utility installs a necessary application if you're using 10.10. .10. So download it. And uh, it'll give you one more page with some more uh, information. Inf this is some information on how to use it. And, uh, and you'll press download now and accept the, the agreement and it downloads. Okay. Um, so instructions on what to do with, with this. Uh, so I pressed back to get back to this instruction page. So go to the directory where the file was downloaded. Um, Double click it, don't connect the camera to the computer, double click the driver upload icon, um, put in your password, and then you've completed the installation. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Here's the driver upload. I double click it, I put in my password, and that's it. It's supposedly done something and installed. Okay, so we're done with that. We'll press back, select our operating system again, because it doesn't seem to remember, and you click on firmware. Now, uh, we want the ILCE7 camera firmware upgrade. But before we do this, let's just double check that we do have that camera. So. Turn your Sony A7 on, press the menu button, go to setup, and uh, in setup, there are several, uh, several pages, six pages actually, and go to version, and that will show you that you have the IL, ILCE-7, and it will also show you the version of your firmware. Mine is 1.01, .01, so it obviously needs the upgrade. Okay, so uh, we'll press download here. The first thing we want to do here is uh, shut down all other programs. So I'm simply going to quit Chrome. And the first thing that you're going to want uh, to do is to prepare the camera for the firmware upgrade. Once again, these instructions are on the Sony eSupport page. And, uh, and I am looking at them now. Power the camera on. Press the menu button. Go to setup and then to um, USB connection. USB connection, set that to mass storage. Okay, and now the camera is uh, ready. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off and proceed by opening up the firmware updater. Uh, the next step was to make sure that your computer isn't gonna go to sleep and uh, so I'll just check my, ener my uh, energy saving settings and just tell the computer to uh, never go to sleep. Okay, the next thing is you want to uh, go to the directory to which you downloaded the, um, the .dmg file um, and open that up and it loads, it mounts it as a disk. Uh, and then you're going to 
double click the firmware updater app and it's going to probably give you a warning about this but just open it anyway and um, and then put in give it administrator powers by putting in your computer's password and you'll end up with this screen so here the instructions are to turn on your camera um, set it to mass storage as we just did uh, and connect connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable so it doesn't say to turn it off first so I guess we'll we'll do what it says and see what happens okay so we'll turn on the camera as you just saw a few moments ago we did change the mass storage uh, so change the USB connection mode to mass storage plug in a micro USB cord plug that into my computer and um, uh, and the camera asks me this question about about um, Sony software so I'm just going to press OK to get rid of that because I don't think that's part of it right we're going to press next now and um, the thing that you should see on the camera is just simply the words follow computer instructions we're going to press next again and that tells us the current version and the version after update of this uh, firmware update Okay, and it says if the current version is version 1.2 or earlier, click next. And we have 1.01, so that we should click next. So next. So the camera screen there says reset device. So I'm just going to press the, uh, the round button in the middle there of the dial. And that will, that will reset the device. Okay, it says the camera screen will turn off, as you saw. Click Next in the firmware. So the only thing now that we need to do is click Run to start the update. And obviously we do not want to disconnect anything. So, um, so there we are, uh, camera and computer connected, and we'll press Run. This should take about 15 minutes. The update has completed, and so, so I, I was just at run the update step, and now I'm at finish the update. It gives you some, uh, some instructions, and the camera will automatically restart. Uh, and I won't move the camera just now. But it says on it, recovering data, please wait. So recovering data, please wait has gone away. The screen has turned off. It seems to have turned on again. And now it's back to showing USB mass storage. Um, and giving me this advertisement screen again. There we go, USB mass storage mode. So it seems to have, um, have upgraded itself. So I will press, press finish and the updater has closed. I'm going to eject the camera, okay, and uh, I'll just unplug the camera, the memory card in, unplug the USB cable, and we should be back in business. So uh, we'll just check if, if the firmware uh, was correctly installed, so we might as well just take a picture and see first of all whether the camera works at all, it's, it appears to. Go to setup, go to the last page, version, and there we go, uh, version 2.00. So the firmware has been upgraded, and uh, there you go. I guess one of the things it's supposed to do is start up quickly, and I've turned it off, and immediately turn it back on. That seems to be fairly responsive. Um, but yeah, the rest of the, rest of the uh, new features we'll have to see about later. So that's how to upgrade it if everything goes right in any case, uh, and thanks for watching.